Hi, I am Raymond Camden, a developer evangelist for Adobe. And today I'll be talking to you about the Adobe PDF Extract API. This API lets you get a great deal of information from your PDF documents. So what exactly do I mean by that? Well, it takes any PDF as your input. It then takes that PDF and then it will use Adobe Sensei AI and machine learning to intelligently parse the contents. So by that, I mean, we're not just parsing the PDF, I'm just scanning it. We're really looking deep at the content to figure out what is there, to figure out what paragraphs flow into other paragraphs when things go across page breaks and so forth. The information that we return includes things like the elements of the PDF. So the text and where it is and what font, et cetera the tabular data in the PDF, and it can return that in CSV or an XLSX format as well. And then your images too. Let's consider a simple example. I have a PDF on screen here. You can see there's different blocks of text, there's different images, and there's tables as well. If I take this and send it to the PDF Extract API, some of the information I get back would include things like you see here. I have a block of text. I get the raw text from that element, but also where it is in the PDF document. You can also see I have a lot of information about the font used for that text. I also have my images and I get things like the size of the image, again, where it is in the document, and then also the actual file name that's used for the exported version of this image. If we look at tabular data, you can see that it took the table from the PDF, it recognized the headers, uh, it recognized when things went across multiple rows, and all of this can be then used in a tool like Microsoft Excel to work with that data. So how do you get started with this? Well, you will need a Adobe Developer free trial. When you do that, you have six long months to play with the API and try it out, and over a thousand different transactions to uh, test things and see how it works for you. You will not need a credit card to get started. When you do sign up, uh, you will get your credentials. You can get sample code and SDKs. Our SDKs cover Node.js, Java, .NET, and Python. Give an idea of how that code looks. Here's a quick example. So I'll have a couple of lines uh, in my code to handle the authentication based on my credentials. You see, it's not too big here, just four lines. And then I'll have some more code to handle my inputs. And in this case, I'm doing things like, A, my uh, source input is extract PDF input PDF. I do want the tables returned. I want the text returned. And basically, I'm configuring how to use the API. Once I've done that, I then simply execute. And I'm going to tell the SDK to save the result as a zip file. That zip file will contain a few things. It's always going to have a structured data.json file. And this is where you'll get all the details about the different elements and where they are. If I ask for the images, I'll get them back in the figures folder. And if I ask for tables, I will get them in the tables folder. And you can see we support CSV, XLSX, and even an image version of the table. Now that JSON can be pretty overwhelming because it's a huge amount of data about what's going on. Luckily, we have a new Extract API online tool that allows you to see this data in a friendlier version. On the left-hand side, you can click on an element in the PDF, and you'll see it highlighted on the right-hand side, so you can see the JSON that matches up with that element. In the same manner, you can click on something on the right-hand side and then see it highlighted on the left-hand side. This online tool will make it a lot easier to work with that wealth of data returned by the API. Now, good news, if you are a Microsoft Power Automate or Logic Apps user, we definitely have support. Uh, you will need to use premium connectors, but we have Extract built right in there, and you can build powerful flows using our Extract API. This API is part of a suite of services we offer. We have the Document Generation API, which lets you use Microsoft Word as a template and output dynamic PDFs and Word documents. We have Acrobat Sign, we have our PDF services APIs uh, for generic PDF utilities and the PDF Embedded API for viewing PDFs on the web. Thank you for watching.